Hi there, my name is Melanie Whitnell. And I'm Steph Pereira. And we're from the theater company Pros and Con Artists. And today we're going to show you how to make some really easy last minute Halloween costumes because you've just been invited to that Halloween party and you have to figure something out. Gotta do it last minute. Let's go! Let's do it! <laughs> We're just going to take this red color right here and we're just going to put that underneath his eyes to make his eyes look kind of red because, you know, he's kind of a stoner. Jesse Pinkman is the third most beat up person on television ever. We're going to do some bruises. You want to kind of start by dragging the purple down underneath your eye. So now that the purple is on, you're going to want to take some of your gray. And remember, something for like a black eye, shadowing is key. You want to make it look as realistic as possible. To make a realistic looking bruise, you need some yellow in there. Next, we're going to do a bloody eyebrow using our lovely fake blood concoction. We're going to teach you how to make a really easy and quick fake blood recipe. All you're going to need is chocolate sauce, corn syrup, red food coloring, something to put it in, like a pitcher or a bowl, and a paddle or a spoon. Right. You're going to want to eyeball it, maybe three parts. Corn yeah. syrup, add the food coloring first. Four drops and, and then mix that in. So it's going to look a little pink. And some chocolate sauce is going to deepen it up. And there we go. There you have it. Some really easy, realistic, pink look. Just want to take a little bit of a Q-tip and again, no rhyme or reason to this. Just kind of let it fall naturally. I'm also just going to, also just going to add a bit of blood just uh, at the nose because nose bleeds. So for your costume pieces, you could wear baggy clothing or your regular clothes and add a toque, or in this case, we're going to be adding a hoodie. What's up, Jesse Pinkman? You want to start off with some sort of moisturizer in your face. And now we're just going to take a pink blush. Next, you want to conceal. For eyes, we're going to do kind of a neutral tone pinup style. A really good way to figure out where your crease is is to put your finger just right at the top of your eyeball and you just want to do the outside area of that. Next we're going to be doing a liquid eyeliner and take it and line the top of your eyes. And do a cat eye. The final touch, the red lip. The hair. What you want to do is you want to swoop your hair to one side, do like a side ponytail. And then take your bandana, fold it up and take it under the hair, and then tie it up at the top. And all you need is like something red. And there we have it, little red from the hood. So right now we're just playing on our Jesse Pinkman face. We're just going to be using another gray eyeshadow. And you're just going to want to stroke upwards this way. And this is going to create a gaunt look. And underneath to add some dimension, we're just going to be taking a little bowl. We're just going to add some depth. We want to kind of start like in the eye area. And then just kind of like, almost like you're applying blush. You really want to make your skin look this color for this because, I mean, if you look at every zombie movie or video game, um, every zombie has a different look. So play up with it. Uh, make sure that you get creative with some yellows and some greens. And these colors are really important if you're going to make a zombie because they really make you look disgusting. And it adds some on top of the eyebrow as well, as well as the side of the nose. So it's going to add some bright underneath If you can blend the yellow and the green together, that also makes it look disgusting. Now we're going to be taking a black color. You just kind of want to drag it like underneath the eye. And then just begin to blend out as much as possible. I'm really playing on that sunken eye. So we're, just, we're just adding some concealer. This is just going to make your lips look really disgusting and gross. And now, finishing touch. Blood. Blood. I'm just going to add that to the mouth. Now we've been eating chocolate on some new flesh. And all you would need is just to throw on some red clothes. This is a really, really simple, straightforward costume. All you need is blood. Fake blood. So, kind of just want to start by ripping it on, I guess. Like we said before, corn syrup, chocolate sauce, and red food coloring. Super easy, really cheap, and it looks real. 
Only thing is this stuff is sticky and it will stain clothes. So make sure if you get it on your clothes, it's something that you're not going to wear ever again. And you really want drips. And now all you need to do is just slap on a dress. And you're Carrie. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have gotten a bunch of really good ideas for Halloween this year. Yeah, happy Halloween, guys. Happy Halloween. Party on. Be safe.